Gambia Amphosis held the passing at ceremony of its intake 37 on Thursday, 13 October at Fajara Barracks. The total of 226 new cohorts of soldiers graduated after 20 weeks of intensive training. They include 165 males and 61 females. These intake 37 have successfully completed their basic military training at Gambia Amphosis Training School at Fajara Barracks. The graduation ceremony is the first since 2017 and the first of Barrel-led administration. Speaking at the ceremony, his Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of the Gambia, Badala Alu Juf, approved the new Intec 37 while he urged them to be responsible soldiers and make the nation proud. The job that you have chosen is a very noble but demanding one. It requires a lot of dedication, commitment, and sacrifice. And I would be allowed to quote General Wu in his book called The People. The field of battle is a, world, uh, is a field of standing corpse. Those who hope to die will escape, and those who hope to escape will die. The job that you have chosen is a noble one. You know, during your training, you have been exposed to difficult challenges for a reason. And the fact that you stayed and successfully went through this hard training is testimony to your level of commitment to the service of your country. Also keep in mind that this job is about serving the nation, serving the people, and serving the government of the day. The soldier should be an embodiment of security, comfort, and hope for the citizenry. I challenge you all to uphold the values of your profession and to make this nation proud wherever duty calls and whenever it calls. Always remember that the military is subordinate to the civilian authority and that you have sworn to be loyal to your commander-in-chief, his government, and the people of this great country. You must be ready to forgo comfort, your social time, and the Chief of Defense Staff of the Gambia Armed Forces, Lieutenant General Yankuba A. Drame, described the event as another milestone for Gambia Armed Forces. He explained the three main functions of military and highlighted its importance. Define and protect the territorial integrity and sovereignty of this country against any forms of aggression. Number two, we've been asked in line with the Constitution that we provide aid to civil authority at the request of civil authority, perhaps as an emphasis. Number one tells you, as and when the situation presents itself, you could or you should rather undertake that function without hesitation. That is the defense of your country. Number two tells you aid to civil authority at the request of civil authority, meaning as and when the situation presents itself, the armed forces could be helped, could be called upon rather, to provide necessary impetus and support to other security services, i.e. our sister services, as and when the situation prevails. And number three, the armed forces is equally tasked in line with the constitution to engage in productive ventures, such as agriculture, health, education, and of course, engineering. Today, I'm happy to report, in all these fields, we've been performing exemplary work, and that is due largely to your sense of commitment, perseverance, and loyalty as individuals and as a team. Most the school commandant of Gambia Armed Forces Training School, Lieutenant Colonel Abdullah Ba, said the intake 37 of Gambia Armed Forces have been well trained and according to him, they have knowledge, skills and are prepared for national defense rules. Necessary reforms in training. Intake 37 basic training covered the uniform military syllabus and the combat infantryman course. This involved thematic military learning areas such as, but not limited to the following, drill, and this included both foot and arms drill, marksmanship training on various infantry weapon systems, field craft and infantry tactics, 
land navigation, commonly known as map reading, combat casualty care, also known as first aid, basic public order management, otherwise we call it crowd control, junior leadership, and military ethics. It also covered core values of the military, such as dedication, loyalty, selfless service, integrity, and honesty, as well as discipline. Physical fitness was also intensively covered, and the physical fitness exercises were indeed very intense. Life Basic fitness tests, widely known as BFT, and combat fitness test CFT are fundamental tests that every serving member of Gambia Armed Forces must undergo annually. They serve as a cornerstone to check both combative fitness and readiness of soldiers and men of the army. The ceremony ends with presentation of award from overall best recruit, second best recruit, third best recruit, female best recruit, fitness recruit, fitness female recruit, best sort, and many more. In 24 News, I am Amicham.